Hello and welcome to BIS Talks and I am here to give you a brief talk about the Medical Devices Management System, MDMS. Under IS 23485-2019, this standard is a merger of three standards. I am happy to report that IS 23485 is one of the Indian standards which we have developed and this takes care of the quality of management system of IVD as well as non-IVD for safety as well as performance. Now, let me take you into the world of IS 23485 2019 standard. Let's start with section 1. Under section 1, it specifies requirements for a quality management system that can be used by an organization involved in one or more stages of the life cycle of a medical device. Section 1. Medical devices quality management systems requirements is like an upgraded version that includes a quality management system from 2016, that is IS ISO 13485-2016 medical devices is a quality management system that is required for regulatory purposes. Under life cycle of medical device, medical devices, quality management systems requirements include design and development, production, storage and distribution, installation, servicing, final decommissioning and disposal of medical devices and technical support. Now let's come to section 2. Medical devices essential principles of safety and performance of medical devices. Under section 2 come the general essential principles and additional essential principles of safety and performance for both IVD that is in vitro diagnostic devices and non-IVD medical devices. IS 23485 has been drafted in line with the international standards and national regulations. To adopt quality and observe continuous improvement in the core activities, medical device manufacturers should have an effective quality management system operational in their organization. As we know, the presence of QMS demonstrates the commitment of the manufacturer to quality the demonstration of compliance of the essential principles establishes that the resulting medical devices are also safe to use and perform as intended throughout their life cycle. The essential principles of safety and performance had already been published as two parts of IS, ISO 16142 for non-IVD and IVD devices. Their content is same as the corresponding international standards. Section 2 of IS 23485 contains these requirements. Now, with the introduction of IS 23485 2019 Medical Devices Quality Management System Requirements and Essential Principles of Safety and Performance for Medical Devices, all three standards have been merged, which means for all the requirements, there is only IS 23485-2019 23485 is addition to 13485. There are some more specifics to that. Now after 23485, we are going to have a product certification. So this will be a product which will be certified that this is as per the standards. And it is equal to a international standard. Because we are, certi we are India is a signatory to ISO. And whatever certificates are issued by ISO, international standards, are actually the same. So there is nothing different like ISO is different or uh, 13485 issued by Indian organization is different. It is same. It is the same book. It is the same standard. It is applied in the same way except here it is, it is inspected by the government authority that is BIS. And there it is uh, 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 you are sort of controlled by a notified body which is not under government control. But the distinctiveness of IS 23485 2019 standard is that it can also be used by suppliers or other external parties providing products. For example, 
raw materials, components, sub-assemblies, medical devices, sterilization services, calibration services, distribution services, maintenance services to medical device manufacturers. Compliance to IS 23485 2019 would include compliance to essential principles of safety and performance as well as to QMS, which is Quality Management System Requirements. To demonstrate compliance to IS 23485 2019, an organization firstly has to show compliance to IS ISO 13485, that is the Medical Devices Quality Management System. A quality management system is a way of defining the quality policy, objectives and responsibilities within an organization and how an organization can meet the requirements of the customers. It is a system that repeatedly makes sure that the product goes through vigorous testing and improvement by going through plan, do, check, act cycle. This is not a line but a cycle, a set of actions that help again and again until the final product is devoid of any flaws and is in perfect working state. Let me explain how the PDCA improvement cycle is applied to the quality management system. One of the most important parts of the quality management system is planning of quality objective and of the quality system, which will be ultimately used to monitor the quality management system and its processes. All the objects and goals must be fixed and rigid beforehand. Planning must be foolproof. Next comes the leadership commitment. To lead the organization towards a greater customer focus by creating a quality policy and defining organizational roles and responsibilities. Good leadership makes sure that the way forward for an organization is without any roadblocks or U-turns. This is followed by identification of risks and opportunities within the quality management system and addressing them accordingly as well as setting quality objectives and planning changes for the support of continual improvement. Risks need to be taken, not the reckless ones, but the planned ones. The last step of the phase is to determine and implement the support structure necessary to execute your plans, which includes planning resources, identifying competencies, raising awareness and establishing processes for the creation and control required for documentation. After a successful planning of the quality management system, one has to implement it, which brings us to the do part of the PDCA cycle. For MDMS, it means resource management and product realization. Resource management can be broken down into four components. First is provision of resources. Second is human resource. Third is infrastructure. Fourth is work environment and contamination control. Let's start with the first of the four, provision of resources. You need to have all the resources you need to complete the task beforehand. Being prepared with all the necessary tools will make things much easier for you. As they say, well begun is half done. Begin well and you will definitely meet all the customer needs and regulatory checks. Next in line of resource management is human resource. The organization needs to ensure that all the employees have appropriate knowledge, training and expertise to perform their jobs with quality. Next in line of resource management is infrastructure, probably the most important part of any factory. The infrastructure is any building, workspace and utilities, equipment and supporting services that guide in transportation, communication or information systems. The better the workplace, the better the employees and hence the better the final product. Don't forget, a healthy infrastructure not just needs a good machinery but also a healthy efficient environment. Which brings me to my next point, work environment. Environmental factors are necessary as a part of the quality management system because they directly influence the product and the service quality. Environment includes social, psychological or physical factors. If you want your organization to do well, then your employees need to be fit as a fiddle, physically and mentally. And while dealing with medical products, it is of prime importance that the environment is clean and sterile. Now let me take you through the product understanding in simple terms. It is something that is designed to help you maintain control of your ISISO 13485 medical devices quality management system. Designs must be developed and controls must be implemented for any externally provided product, service and processes. This will involve monitoring, measuring, analyzing and evaluating your products and services to confirm that they meet the requirements. Also the processes are suitable and effective and that no customer service goes unachieved.
without continuous and close monitoring it is easy for the work to be misdirected a key method for assessing the effectiveness of the quality management system is the internal audit of its processes in addition management review of the collected data should be performed to identify any issues and to plan for any necessary changes now to act on these processes it is the time to address whatever issues that may have arisen during the check part of the cycle improvement is the name of the game and action steps will need to include addressing non conformities through corrective and preventive actions and by treating the non conformities whatever flaws were discovered should be dealt with now are we done no we are done with one round time for the next one planning yes we have completed one cycle and we are ready to start again and put plans in place for further improvement remember it's a cycle the internal audit findings during the check phase may have necessitated action step during the act phase if so you will have to make changes during the plan phase to meet the new requirements in the following do phase the management review will take into account the results of internal audit as well as any corrective actions taken to provide planned resources to support the necessary changes this of course will lead us to another do phase and on through the cycle with each process the whole cycle will keep getting simpler and more efficient only such a thorough process can make sure we have high quality medical products which leaves no stones unturned in the efforts of saving lives and such products can easily find acceptance among top medical professionals the section 2 of is 23485/2019 provides six general principles for all medical devices and additional principle specific to ivd and non ivd medical devices essential principles are broad high level criteria for design production and post production including post market surveillance which are applicable throughout the life cycle of all medical devices which ensure their safety and performance these essential principles are intended to assist the manufacturers with fundamental design and manufacturing criteria that need to be considered during the design and manufacturing processes that we have already discussed during the do part of the pdca cycle of your quality management system or to keep the spectrum complete we also have quality assurance system for delivery of health services in the hospitals we take utmost care and create standards which will help the hospitals to deliver the optimum services which is a combination of practices equipments and the healthcare uh, the training of the healthcare professionals these includes various aspects which is also taking care of the ivd and non ivd uh, devices in the hospital so with this I want to say that we have a complete range of standards which will help us to deliver quality health services that is our mandate and we try to do it to the best possible manner organization desirous of obtaining system certification as per any management system standard has to do the following pre application stage preparedness understand the requirement of the standard implement the standard and prepare documents as required by the standard conduct training program for the employees to develop a shared understanding of the tasks to be performed lay down the objectives norms and measure progress against them establish policy identify risks and opportunities institutionalize internal audit and management review application to bs application can be submitted online through the mscd portal on bis website during application identify the regional offices under whose jurisdiction premises is located and contact the concerned management system coordinating officer msur will guide you about the process of application and extend necessary support in the certification process on acceptance of application dates for the stage 1 audit is communicated along with the details of the auditor and fee to be submitted stage 1 audit is the occasion to verify the authenticity and adequacy of the information shared by the organization reading its preparedness through verification of documents field visit and discussion with the team and top management instances of non conformity are communicated for corrective action within the mutually agreed time frame on successful completion of stage 1 audit stage 2 audit is planned for final verification of the compliance with the requirements of the standard 
in case there is some corrective action still required to be taken 45 days time is given to the organization to do that on successful completion of the stage 2 audit license is granted which has validity for 3 years as you already understand that BIS grants the license for 3 years now this during the 3 years period BIS undertakes two surveillance audits to ensure that the organization has stayed compliant to the requirements of the standard. I urge you to come forward and implement because not only it will increase your productivity but also it will save life and as you know each life is precious as each life has a purpose. BIS with its worst experience and strong team of professionals will always be by your side in this wonderful journey. Friends, the best medical products in the world are being created in India today, not just for Indians, but also for export. Manufacturers of medical devices are in the business of saving lives, and hence, this is one area where we cannot relax quality. So making sure that these products are of the best quality is not just a moral but a national responsibility. Goodwill is often the best form of profit. Thank you and Jai Hind.